hi guys it's kobe here and in today's video we are going to talk about the random effector and how it works on more graph objects and as well as a, as a deformer in cinema 4d so the first object i'm going to talk about is the random effector and i mean cinema 4d r25 i have a matrix object here so we are going to use the random effector to affect it so with the matrix object selected if i come to my more graph menu and you can see we have effectors here and drop down we have random effector so i'll select the random effector and you can see instantly it's pushing our objects away and that's the random effector basically randomize objects so if i come to the um, attribute manager and i come to the parameters tab you can see now it's randomizing the position so the random effector does this a randomized position scale and rotation of object and also the colors of object it can also do something randomize other stuff like the weight and stuff like that of clones so now you can see it's randomizing the uh, position so if i should increase the y it's moving it randomly up and down x moving it up and down and all that so you can also randomize the scale so if a uh, rotation so if i check the rotation and now move it you can see randomly it's moving it different angles right so now you can see we have a bit of randomness in it and as well as skill so i can select the skill and i can randomize it and you can see some are longer some are getting shorter all um, all sides and stuff like that so that's basically what the random effector does you can also randomize with the skill you can use uniform so now we will scale it uniformly but some will be smaller and some will be bigger right so let's bring it back another thing like i said you can randomize is the color so i'll hide this and i'll come to the color you can see now the color is set to off so now it's using the matrix color but we can change it to effect a color and now you can see it's giving it random colors so all sorts of colors based on the index of the um, matrix we can also use um, custom color which we can set our own color in here if you want and another thing we can also do is you can use um effector color a field color i mean so if i add, choose field color nothing happens and that's because we don't have any fields added so if i come into my field tab and i add let's say a linear field you can see now our linear field has, is giving us this green and uh, green color and that's if we select our linear field and come to color you can see the color is set to green so where the um, linear field affects our matrix object, it turns green. And where it doesn't affect, it keeps our matrix object color. All right. So let's delete our linear field. We don't need it for now. And come to our parameters back. I'll set the colors back to effect test color. So you can see we have the effect test color. This tab, I mean, I explained it in my previous tutorial on Cinema 4D MoGraph effectors. So you can get a bit more details about the other tab. And as well as in here you have absolute effect all these things too i also explain it in my my 4d more graph effectors um video so now let's go to the effect test tab and the effect test tab this is where you basically control the strength of our randomness so if you set it to zero you can see it comes down everything goes off all right another thing is down here we have minimum Okay, first of all, let me explain the selection. So we can actually set selection. So for instance, with the matrix object selected, right? For first, I'll first of all disable the random and now come to more graph and I'll choose more graph selection. And if I should click on the matrix, you can see there's this um, grey dot in where and wherever I use my Kesa to pass now, it turns orange. So we are selecting the orange are the ones that we've selected, right? So immediately I let go of my mouse, you, you see on the matrix object in the um, object manager, there will be a tag on it. So you see there's this tag which has been added to the matrix object. That means these are the things we've selected. So if now I enable my random effector and come to my random in the selection, I can simply add this and now it will affect only the places I selected. So that's what basically the selection um, does. We can go ahead and delete it. We don't even need it. And also we can right click here and reset it to default okay the next is the minim, minim, minimum and the maximum right and what it basically does is so you can see in the plane effector the for instance let me actually 
set everything back to just leave one so let's just leave the um scale the position y so you can see it's set to let me set it to like 200 you can see it's set to 200 centimeters so it's moving 200 centimeters up and down right so what it's doing is that it's moving 200 centimeters on the up and moving down minus 200 centimeters so that's what the minimum and maximum does so you can tell it not to go in the min um in the minus or negative scale so if i set the minimum so the minimum will always be zero so if i set it to minimum to zero i mean the minimum will always be zero so you can see now the colors there's no black in it right so when it's set to minus now the colors turn black but immediately i brought it back to um zero the minimum to zero you can see now the colors there's no black in it and the same way i can set it the minimum to minus and now restrict it and now all of them the maximum will be zero and the randomized will go down so you can use the minimum and maximum to determine how your um random randomization goes in here these are the random mode we have different kinds of random so for instance you have the question these are different sorts of randomness that you can choose to play around to see what you get and you have noise and with the noise it, we have um it gives us a, an option to play give us like animated noise so if i show it play you can see it's playing we can turn off the animation speed to zero to leave it just like it is or we can reduce the animation speed to like say 10 and now it wouldn't be that fast see it's playing and now the scale is as it's like you know the smaller the scale it's like a cloth you know you have a cloth and the smaller the scale, it's like the small the the smaller the crumbs in the cloth, and the bigger the scale, the bigger the crumbs, basically. So that's what the um the um, skill also does. In here we have other you know noise types which you can play around. The tablelands also gives you the ability to add the animation speed and stuff, and you have sorted. So all of them have um their look and how it um, it works. So basically, that's how the random effect however now the field tab you can simply come in here and add the uh, field i can add a linear field and now you know the place smoothly we can add several other fields like i explained in my uh, more graph effectors tutorial also the random effector can be used as a deformer just like any other effector so let me go ahead and create let me first of all turn off our matrix we don't need it for now and I also clear our field, we don't need it. So I'll create a normal, something like a sphere. <clears throat> right? And now I'll make a random effector a child of the sphere. Nothing happens. So if I come into my random and come to the deformer attribute manager, the deformer tab, you can see now it's set to off. If I set it to object, you can see now it's randomizing my um it's randomly moved my um sphere right if i come to the effector and make sure i change the random type uh, random mode to noise right i can hit play and it should let me actually increase the random animation and probably increase this let's hit play and you can see now it's giving our sphere some sort of animation so you can actually use it to automate or add some sort of automation to your animation so if you have something like uh, working on a scene that you want some things to move in the background but you don't necessarily want to keep from you can actually use it to add a bit of automation to your um your object you can add the randomness in fact let me change it to something like a cube so that it'll be very visible so i'll clear and now i'll add in the random effector i'll add a bit of randomness to it now you can see just like that you are having some nice cool um animation in it even i can add a skill as well and now you can see it's giving us different type of animation all right aside that let me put it back into the sphere and now disable the cube and bring back my sphere aside moving the object itself we can let it deform the object by its point so i'll set it to instead of object now I'll set it to point and i can see it's deforming the sphere 
like basically so i'll come in here and i'll reduce the um y position and i'll actually come back into my noise reduce the scale to like say 10 because the small remember the smaller the scale the and the smaller the cramps or something uh, like i said earlier right and in the sphere i'll actually increase the segment the segment is too small right also one thing i'll change in the random is i'll change from the y i'll change the this um, y position and set it to the z position because we want to because the points of the sphere is based on the um, spheres normal so if i hit play you can see now we have some displacement in a sphere which we can also play around like fun in the fun way increase the noise a bit and now can use it so actually can actually use it to create something like an ocean or sea waves or something so if i add it to like a plane effect that and it play you can see now it looks like an ocean and you can add extra stuff to it so basically the random can be used as a point and um, deformer as well and when you come to the deformer tab it also can be used as a polygon to deform the polygons itself and same way it will work so the random effector is very very powerful too and it can also be used alongside other effectors to get um nice and interesting um, looks in cinema 4d thanks for watching and i see you hope to see you in the next one